Going to meet today is Nishan Burrell out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, fighting on the X MMA six card May third on mm-hmm. YouTube. How's things going on your end? Pretty good, man. You know how it is. Training, cutting the weight, a little draining, but I'm chilling. Yeah, so you've been out for about a year. Your last fight was for Eagle FC. Um, yeah. Is the year off because of Eagle FC doing whatever happened there? Um, No, it was like I was kind of in a limbo, but I was like, it's good to take a little bit of time off anyway. I've been fighting forever, so it's like it's good to you know have like an extended break just to let my body chill a little bit. Yeah, I mean, at 33 years old, you've been everywhere. You've been Strike Force, UFC, Bellator, yeah. up and down the regionals. Yeah, I'm um I'm on my last leg, man. I'm an old man. I'm I'm I, <laughs> I'm thinking about uh retirement soon, maybe. You know, I'm old. Yeah, uh, it was weird. I I knew you've been around, but when I pulled the record, June 2010 was your pro debut. Damn. Yeah, oh, that was my reaction too. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, shit. Yeah, that was a long time ago, man. MMA has changed a lot since then. It's, damn. It's a lot different. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, you started off pretty wild, too. Two two wins yeah. off the bat. And then your first loss was to Chris Curtis. Mm, I do remember that. That, that. Shit. I do remember that. At first, at the first one... I think he had that was the first time I got elbowed in the face. <laughs> he oh he, he I think he had me uh in a crucifix and elbowed me in the face. Shit, we fought twice, man. Yeah, you guys are one and one right now because you did get it back in 2016. Yeah, we gotta do it again one day. Before I'm done, before he's done, we gotta do it again. <laughs> that was one of the ones I saw that I was like, oh man, you not only were you everywhere, but you fought like names at the start. <laughs> Shit, yeah, man. I, I, that was that was see, that was kind of like a pro and a con. It was like I was like down to fight everybody, but it wasn't much like planning and like the <laughs> process of doing it. It was just like who, huh? Yeah, give me the paperwork, I'll fight him. And uh, I mean, so right now, speaking of training and all that, you were with Marquez MMA and Daniel Gracie BJJ in Philadelphia, a team that's just stacked to the gills. I mean, yeah, this past man. week, I think we had like four fighters alone just between Friday and Saturday. Yeah, a bunch of studs, man. A bunch of studs, man. Good place to train. A bunch of animals in there, man. You got to take a deep breath before you walk in there, man. <laughs> I like sit in the car and, all right, let's go. <laughs> animals from top to bottom. Who are your main guys over there, though, at your like, weight class? So I think right now you're going back to welterweight. So like, who are you really uh, training with? Uh, Jeremiah. Uh, Wells, uh, Sean Brady, um, train with a couple guys at uh, 85, uh, body bags. You I mean there's a couple guys over there? I fluctuate. You I mean maybe I might get some work in with a 55er, but I got some pretty good, some world class uh, 70s to work with. Yeah, the team is just it's been it's been impressive watching them over the years, even more impressive as now that they made it up to the show as well. Yeah. Um, but May 3rd, you were with the Brazilian zombie, Glaco Franco, who was on Tough Brazil. He has mm-hmm. wins himself over Rosh Manifo, Nick Moda, and Sadabo Se from the mm-hmm. PFL champion from last year. Yeah. Where are you looking into this? I mean, he's also, you. like I said, you've been around for a while. He's been around for a while. You both are at the 30 fight history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, shit, man, it's a good, like, and this stage of my career, I'm not going to fight. Like, and I'm not going to get a, a crumb. Somebody just uh, just started. So it's it's a good name, man. He's a good uh, tough opponent, man. I'm looking for a knockout, and oh, as always, you I mean coming in for a KO. And you hinted that you know you are in that last leg. It's weird as hell saying that when we're we're both like in our early thirties. It, with with sports, man, they they call you they call you an old man, at, at, like barely before you hit like midlife for the the middle of your life. You mean I'm I'm old, man. I'm an old fart. <laughs> Gotta yeah, unless you're for- a, a Clay Guida, you're you're pretty much thirty five. Like uh, Clay will be like fifty and still saying yes to any name that comes across his phone. It, and I tip my cap to him, but I'm like as much as I love like the. The hearing the pin drop when you get in the cage, like the cold when you got your chest out and it's just cold in there. I love that feeling, shit. 
but it's like um i'm sorry can i cuss yeah, you... I'm... All right. <laughs> I'm not monetized i don't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> like as much as i love that aspect of it like the training is is so much is so much uh work and if you don't do any peds man and you don't have a bunch of money for like top notch like recovery is like it's a fu- it's a grind man it's a grind and i i i I fucking love fighting like to death, but you gotta know when this. You mean knees, knees getting old. Every time I get up, I'm popping and shit. It's like I had, I had a good, I had a good run. <laughs> I was fighting 13, 14 years. My old fart. Um. So as you know, we age. How are you mm-hmm. changing your like recovery and rest? I mean, obviously that's probably more important now than it was yeah. in 2010. Um, shit, a lot of stretching. Um, I just got into like ice baths, uh, massages, man. I've, I've started doing like stuff that I probably should have been doing when I was younger, like to help keep the body like lasting longer. But you I mean better late than never? <laughs> I'm trying to get more rest, you know, just chilling. Like instead of like going out all the time when I'm all like the days I have off, like I'm just chilling, just letting my body not do a fucking thing. And going through some of the other names in your record, um, I did reach out because, you know, you've been around the sport long enough that even on the regional level, people have known your history. Um, mm-hmm. I did have someone reach out and kind of wanted to play a little like that speed round game with you, <laughs> of, like what you remember and all. Um, we already talked about Chris Curtis. You also fought Wonder Boy as well. I, yeah, I remember that fight. <laughs> wow. um, MVP. Yeah, I, 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 that's one of the guys I want to fight again. <laughs> is uh, uh yeah. The rest uh, of the names on there are kind of like hit or miss. I'm gonna skip the rest of the other 13 that he passed over. <laughs> yeah, um, no. but those two, like anything stand out between those two that really stand out? I mean, you just that said you would love to fight MVP again. Uh, the thing that stood out that Wonder Boy fight, we the whole camp. We were working for striking. We were working for uh, crazy kicks to angles. And <clears throat> he came out like grappling sort of like in the beginning. Like I was like that. That was so surprising to me. And I remember like sitting there and like, I'm going to just play with him a little bit and he'll get tired. But he did not get tired. Right? That that threw me off in that fight. Like I thought he was gonna come out like fly kicks. Like he he kicked and did his striking, but I thought it was gonna be way more than that. It was way more grappling than I expected. Did not Which train. Weird, I, I mean, didn't train a lick of grappling, like a douche. Not a lick. And it's weird now because when you look at some of his past losses now, like the cheat code has been grappling. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if like I said, th- those two like, stood out to me, and I was like, damn, like I, that, for me. Uh, the the first event I ever went to, you actually headlined. So you, Where? You, you've been on my radar for a while. I was actually at your uh, CFC 102 card. That was my first like in person MMA. You fought um Kyle Stewart, redhead oh, military guy. Billy, yeah, yeah. That was that was. <laughs> I didn't know they. I didn't know until after that fight that you can't have uh, um, cussing like a lot of cussing in your music i thought that like i mma is like i guess is a family of a thing now a family event you take the family out to see the fights i guess but they like had my whole song like blocked out <laughs> that was a good one that was a good fight yeah i think i think that's more so it's probably a fight pass issue because ah. like <laughs> if you watch like a um any of the prelims for robbing the guys over there yeah they seem to be a little more relaxed Ah, it makes sense. You know, I I completely forgot about Fight Pass. I guess you got to keep it keep it like a little upscale for the the UFC and stuff like that. And Which is whatever. funny when you think about like they promote fighter talk, but you can't say a curse word in a song. Like it's just one of those like MMA rules that make no sense. <laughs> I could say if it was, I could say if we were like, um, I don't know, like the WWE guys or something. Not saying that, that this still a sport, but something more like. You know, this is violence, man. We gladiators, man. Let me listen to what I want to listen to before I go in a cage and, you know, perhaps get my face smashed in. Let me listen to what I want to listen to for those for that one minute. Yeah, it's always been 
Um, I know with the family affair, you are seeing it a lot more. Um, yeah. When I do, when I, when I go to the Philly and New Jersey shows, I do bring my kid with me. Yeah, uh, but she see, can also like spit the entire like <laughs> Meek Mill album, a J Cole album, like. Um, <clears throat> Like if you're sitting and talking with the kid, yeah, you don't want to be you don't want to be raunchy and shit like that. But like, yo, kids nowadays know they know more. Like I'm out the loop. They know more about this more about these songs than I know. <laughs> like more about. Yeah, it. I, I remember we were coming back from uh, I think it was actually the last um, March or April. CFC had an event, and they like, coming back. I just had music in the car. Yeah, and I don't. I don't monitor what I listen to. I kind of yeah. just, it's music. She's heard worse on TV and on the school bus. Yeah. And uh yeah, like she did the entire um I think it was uh Meek Mill levels, like the entire <laughs> intro, and I was like, I fucked up. Classic. No, <laughs> <laughs> it was like like when you were like my parents tried to like keep me from like, you know, like the hey, watch your mouth. Uh, watch what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. But, like, once you leave the house and get around some of the, like, some of these other animals that you grow up with aren't is you're going to hear it. You're going to get into some stuff. You're going to hear it, like, out in the world anyway. But it seems like, like you know, we're, we're the same age, so if we grew up in, like, the five ten dollars mixtape era. There, there, was no, there was no... Let me get, like, three of them. What is it, like, two for ten, three for ten? Yeah, let me get that one, let me get that one, let me get that one. <laughs> The CD player, damn, the good old days. I mean, and it, especially the you know, same age again. Like, we probably know some of the same local talent that should have made yeah. it somewhere, but now they're incarcerated or you know aren't here. But uh, yeah, that would never make it on the radio. But it was yeah, probably no. some of the best music the city put out. Like some of the guys, you, the, was who, the AR app right now locked up. He should. I mean, I, but his stuff wouldn't have made it mainstream anyway. This is heavy you drugs. Like, uh, you remember like Touch Money and all those guys? Yes. <laughs> like that whole crew was uh, as a you, you always wonder is why? Like is it promotion or is it just like it's certain people that make it and it's certain people that don't? Like it, I think it's, it might just be the, the latter. Like is some people get that shine and some people, you know, miss out. Everybody can't be famous. Yeah, so uh, getting back to the fight. Fight together. <laughs> um, you know, we hit on this before we hit record. This is the first time you've ever fought on a Wednesday. Wednesdays are such a weird ass day for fights. I know like, Invicta does it on occasion. Do they? But you were kind of touching on that before we hit record. So, like, what are your it, thoughts on a Wednesday? It's it. I mean, it's weird as shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's like my my days. I'm like you said, thirty fight, thirty plus fights around there never fought like i got my like schedule like my my cut schedule how i train how i do everything is set for uh fridays and saturdays i I got all of that so now it was, was kind of weird when they said that it was going to be on the third it was kind of like weird for that first couple of days i'm like all right i gotta make sure i do this on this day and make sure i do this on that day and shit like that but um i mean yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's super weird. <laughs> I mean, it's still a fight is a fight. When you got fight, where you got fight, don't matter. But fucking Wednesday, man, you might as well make it on Monday. Let's fight Monday night, Monday afternoon. It feels it's weird. weird. Like, it means like you, your like fight week starts on like Thursday, oh. if not Wednesday before. Like yeah. however you want to really start your your I'm, last cut. I'm doing. My, I'm tomorrow starts like fight week. So. <laughs> so it'll be interesting. I, I know this card has been I don't want to just to say plagued. Um it was yeah. supposed to be like last week or a week before and then security issues arose where they had to change the date. I thought they said something with like venue fire or some shit like that or something like along yeah, those lines. The the official I, wording was basically they need to have so many I guess law enforcement or security guards on hand. It was the most like bullshit reasoning I've ever heard. Um, huh? It I've sounded never... like maybe they, they didn't sell enough tickets and mm. <laughs> push it back two weeks, and maybe you'll sell enough tickets there. Um, I, I mean, I've heard of, I've heard of shows being canceled because of that, where like yeah. you just don't have enough money to pay for everything. <laughs> 
when <laughs> I, f- I had a fight in uh <laughs> had a fight in uh Virginia where all the guys that didn't fight from Virginia got fake checks. We got we got a fake check. We ended up finally getting paid by the commission afterwards, like weeks, maybe a month afterwards. But like everybody that was not from Virginia got a fake check for the most part. That's one thing I'll say, at least in PA, like Greg and Greg, the team is Greg Greg could come get you. And I'm thankful for those uh two the two people that I I, I forgot I forget their names, but the two people that I would call like damn near on a daily basis from the Virginia Commission, they was like, We're on it, we're gonna make sure everybody gets paid and, and we eventually did. But I'd rather them cancel the event than have us go down there and fight <laughs> and then <laughs> you know. But I still haven't even received uh flight information yet. So I don't, I don't Normally that's like Spirit Airlines. I I'm definitely gonna be on Spirit, but like <laughs> normally like <laughs> that's normally like uh you get the contract, you get the, the you sign the contract, a couple days later you get the flight itinerary. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll get it the day before. And as long as listen, I'm ready to I'm gonna maintain my uh my weight and keep doing what I gotta do just just in case this is my first Wednesday fight ever, but it's very weird. But you know, this game is always is always some shit going on. Yeah, it's I mean, always uh, th- there's a few other red flags on this card. It seems they keep adding like a bunch of like former UFC guys to kind of like pump that name value, and then you mix in the fact that you don't have flight details yet. So I'm guessing you also don't have a hotel yet either. Um, no. So we'll see. Listen, I'm as as weird as the shit is. I'm 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 like, I don't want to just be like, all right, fuck. I, I know this shit not gonna happen. Let me go get a cheesesteak platter. <laughs> my luck, my luck. It'll be like, it'll be in, the information to be like, hey, yeah, we sent it to you. And it's, just, <clears throat> it's in the spam in your emails or some shit. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, my fault. <laughs> But yeah, no, this is this is, is it, uh, some red flags. But hey, I mean, it's not the first time. <laughs> so I just, I mean, you've been I, around. You've been around from before things were a yeah. lot more structured. So I'm sure there's yeah. endless stories you can tell on that side. I'm I'm just going to try to stay stay the course, <laughs> stay the course. But I'm waiting. I'm I'm waiting for any day to hear something from management or. From the the actual event, so we'll see. So you did touch on the subject. I like to ask when there is, you know, the Philly area guys. Move this a little bit. Sorry. So w- when you're not cutting weight and on the diet, where are you getting a cheesesteak from? Um, I gotta. I'm I'm constantly looking for places, man. I gotta. I gotta. Um, let me see. I'm in the life. God damn it. <laughs> um. It was Ishka Bibbles for a while, but they started their cheesesteak started shrinking. So it was like, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. I'm I'm. What is it? Was it um Tony Luke's? But they changed. I think they changed the name of it down on Oregon Street. That was that. That's my consistent spot now. But everybody say they got different. I gotta try that uh roast pork spot. Um, no, um, the John uh. I, I fucking know. I know it's roast pork in there, like in the name. Yeah. I just don't know the actual name. I gotta. I keep hearing like everybody throws their names out, but I keep hearing that the most, and I don't know where is that. I gotta find it. Yeah, I, I have friends who would come in from Vegas, and they would go from right for the airport and get a roast pork sandwich. I've never. I oh, fuck. I never had a roast pork sandwich. I gotta try that shit. See, you, now you get me hungry, man. I, 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 I'm eating like a rabbit. <laughs> like I can't. Okay, we'll, we'll kill that talk then. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, May third, uh, Glaco, Glaco, Franca, um, and on YouTube. So I mean, it's free. Yeah. You know, and what the hell else is people watching on Wednesday? Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, it might be some playoff basketball though. I I watch some playoff basketball in a, over a Wednesday fight, depending on who playing. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, 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 such a weird day. And it's hockey. The hockey players, a bunch of it's shit. 
No, wait, no, let's promote the fight. Yeah, there's nothing else to watch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks like a fun matchup. And it's tef- I don't, I hate to say two veterans make the back crack a little bit are. harder. That, but... That's that's what we are. <laughs> Shit, third when you when uh, you got thirty fights when you had thirty plus fights. It's, 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 I've, I've been a, I think I've been a vet since I was like twenty eight. I'm old. I don't so, mind it. W- w- with the last leg, are you trying to get? To a big show to just ride off the sunset from there, or are you just riding the curve and see where it takes you? I'm just riding the wave right now. Like I'm I'm pretty like wherever, wherever, you know, because when I when I had when I was like in that mindset, like it was like mad stressful. I'm like, I'm just going with the flow. Win fights, keep my I mean, I'm four and one on my last five fights. Try to keep just keep working, keep getting shit done and we'll see where it goes. But you know. Try to take it light. <laughs> awesome, and this is one of my favorite parts because I don't got to do shit. I hand the mic to you. This is your pro- your time. You know, thank anyone you want sponsors, any shout outs, uh, any last minute marketing um, you want to do on your end. Go ahead. Um, no, uh, no, no marketing, no shout outs, no, uh, no, no sponsors. I mean, uh, shout out to my coaches, man. I always love them, my teammates. You know, and that's about it for me. And thank you for having me. Hey, Sorry about re- you know, actually <laughs> applying. Like, I reach out and I'm like, all right, I'll shoot like three messages down. Like, none of these are going to respond. And when you responded, I was like, this is one I, I wanted on there. It's so rare that I'm like, I've never seen my my DMs. I think I got my Twitter my Twitter shit. Like, notifications are off. Like, if you hit me up on Instagram, I'd have seen it. But it was like, it was just like a day where I'm like, oh shit, it, yeah, no, I ain't talking to nobody in a minute. I'm a, I'm an old man. I'm in the house all the time. I'll tell you. Yeah, I was like, you know, like I said, to me, you, we kind of all know like all the Philly guys, you yeah. know, because we've been more than likely you've all been through the same promotions. Yeah. Same you overlapped gym, training same at one other. point. Yeah. Like, so when I saw your name, I was like, yeah, I was like, I can't tell you anything about your opponent. <laughs> I had a look at him. Like I at least knew you. But uh, now I want to hop on this and definitely get this promoted because (laughs) it's a free card. Why not watch it? I mean, shit. Especially because it's free. Especially because it's free. You don't have to download anything extra. You probably already got YouTube on something in the house. Turn it on. I mean, it's going to be a bunch of good fights if we do it. You know, (laughs) If if, if everything is everything, then, you know. It's going to be a slugfest. I'm aiming for a knockout. I don't want to fight three rounds. <laughs> yeah, so, I, mean, I think that's that's the standoff right there. You know, May 3rd, there might be a fight. It might be on YouTube. And if not, Maybe. there's fights on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> the regular fight day. <laughs> but uh, thank you for your time. I'm going to get this posted and we know we'll hopefully have a fight to watch and for you to fight. If not, there's play off Fingers. something yeah it's something on tv you everyone would be fine <laughs> all right